What is up, Keller Williams agents? It is me, Sam Jackson, Director of Innovation and Tech for the amazing Georgia Legacy Group. And today, I'm super pumped. Today's video is all about getting your uh, Twilio account set up for call forwarding. But first, I'm gonna take a, a quick second and say like, check out the new swag for the Family Reunion 2021 shirts. These things are pretty cool. This is one of three that I got from uh, signing up with Family Reunion. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, please do so. It's gonna be an awesome event. But let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you all how to get into call forwarding with your Twilio account. So we're gonna jump right into settings up here in the top right hand corner. And we're gonna go down to settings. I probably need to make myself a little bit smaller here. Get out of the way. Cool. And then now uh, Twilio is usually like at the very bottom of the list. So I'm just gonna scroll down really, really quickly. Zip on down here. And then I have my Twilio account set up already. Uh, so this is something you can check out in another video if you don't have your Twilio account set up. But now I need to click on this manage button right here. And now you'll see here that I have some information about my account, how many texts that I've used, but you'll see a button here that says set up call forwarding. Now pay attention, there is gonna be some information here about what this looks like, but essentially you're going to have a, uh, a six credit uh, call forwarding setup. So this is like a one-time, first-time deal, that's six credits. And honestly, that's pretty much about like six cents. Every time you see a credit, that's about a penny each. Um, and then you'll see that it's a, um, a country code per minute for three credits. So every time you take a call, it's gonna be three credits per minute. So it's three cents per minute roughly. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit set up call forwarding. I'm gonna type in my telephone number. And then uh, again, some more information here about like the, the voice over IP and how all this works. Uh, you have to hit this button that says, I have read and accept the uh, costs, hit assign number. And now I'm gonna get a verification to my, my telephone number here. All right, that came through. Again, that doesn't matter because it's already verified. Cool. And just like that, my Twilio account is now set up. So if you were to call my Twilio number, uh, it says something like when you pick up command is uh, forwarding on a Twilio call. So you kind of get like a little bit of like a notification, a heads up that it's happening. Now, if you're smart, if you want to think with your brain on this one, if you don't want to waste your credits uh, and you notice that you're getting a call from a Twilio number, what is really cool is that you can just like ignore that. Don't waste your credits. Let those numbers go to your voicemail. Let that go to the messaging and just call them right back using your cell phone number. Then you're not wasting any of your credits in Twilio. However, this is way better than if somebody just calling your phone and getting a generic message of, uh, I think it was saying like user is busy or something like that. So at least this is a little bit more professional, um, but uh, this is how you kind of get it set up to now that you can have Twilio um, do some call forwarding to your actual cell phone, just in case you have some posts, some smart plans, anything rocking and rolling that uh, may trigger somebody giving you a phone call. Thank you all for watching. I hope this helps. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and a subscribe button so that you get notified as we do some more content here in the new year. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay in command.